So this camp post gold celebration, um, what's it like now we're going to celebrate in home venues in front of our fans with summer gold? It's so exciting. Um, obviously, it feels really good to bring home a gold medal to your home country and to be able to just celebrate that, play in front of our fans. Um, I feel like we haven't played in front of our fans at home in a while, so it will it will be fun. I know everyone will show up and celebrate, and yeah, I'm just really excited. And we've collected this group back together who had this incredible summer, uh, the majority of them who see each other every weekend against, but now we're back together on that side. Tell me a little bit about it's so much fun to come back into this environment and play with each other. Um, we do go quickly to enemies uh, when we return, but it's just fun to come back together, play with each other. It's such a high level. We push each other every day. And yeah, I just, I love being in camp and playing with these girls. And we've got new faces to round out this, uh, this October squad. Um, what does the new energy, the playing styles, all of those things bring to this team? Um, a lot. I mean, the new players have been, we've only had one training, but they've been great. They look great. We see them um, finding a lot of success in, in their club environment. So it's it's always fun to, to bring new faces into this environment and to kind of build together and get people familiar with the environment. And yeah, it's really exciting. Jeff, go ahead. Um, Emma, Emma's been, was talking last week about sort of, we haven't seen you on the field sort of mm -hmm. publicly in a while, but you've mm -hmm. done a lot of work behind the scenes. Yeah. What does that look like? How are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been dealing with a little bit of ankle stuff since the Olympics, and it's been go, go, go for a while now for me, so I felt like I needed to address it before it got worse. Um, but I've been feeling good. I've been doing a lot of work in Portland with our medical staff, who's great. And, yeah, I haven't been in games, but I've been working hard and staying ready. And, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good now, just building minutes. Obviously, we have three games in this, in this window, and then go back, have a game very early. Um, with Portland, so it's just kind of building minutes, getting my, my feet back underneath me and feeling good again. He and the era here obviously got off to such a hard, hot start the summer years mm -hmm. old, but what's it like to now be at the beginning of a cycle, looking mm -hmm. ahead, you know, you guys are working towards 27, 28, yeah. and how do you not, like, get so overwhelmed by, oh, it's three years away, like, do mm -hmm. you kind of break it into, like, these are goals that I want to achieve between now and then, or how do you Yeah, it? yeah, for sure. I think it's, it's setting small goals for yourself, obviously, coming off of a World Cup and then the Olympics, that feels like a long time until the next one. But I think for us, it's gonna be three very important years to keep building and to put ourselves in the best position to have success in the World Cup. But yeah, I think it's it's setting small goals, it's building as a team. Obviously, Emma, I mean, we won a gold with her, but it's still very new. Um, we still haven't had a lot of time. So just, you know, continuing to work on that and developing ourselves you know, into a team that can compete to win a World Cup.